Hello and welcome back to 5-Minute Photo. I'm Bill Ferris. In this video, I'd like to talk with you about focus breathing. Focus breathing is an aberration that affects photographic lenses. And in a nutshell, what happens with focus breathing is with your lens at, set at a focal length, when you focus on an object that's near to you, that uh, apparent field of view will appear to be different than when you focus at that same focal length on a subject that's more distant from you, closer to where infinity might lie for your lens. And how this often appears is that if you're focusing on a subject up close, the apparent field of view widens, becomes larger. And as you focus closer to infinity, it narrows. So what's happening is that as you're changing focus, the effective focal length of your lens is also changing. So even though the lens zoom ring might say uh, you're set to 70 millimeters, or even if it's a fixed focal length lens, a prime, if you're focusing up close, that apparent uh, or effective focal length will shorten a bit, and that will create a wider field of view for your image. As you focus closer to infinity, the focal length is closer to or at what your manufacturer rates that lens to be, and so the field of view narrows because the focal length is changing from that setting when you are focusing up close. This is an aberration that can obviously have an effect on the photographs you're taking with the focal length changing or the apparent field of view changing. And so what I'd like to do in this video is give you a taste of what focus breathing looks like. This is the Tamron 70-200 f2.8 DI VC USD zoom lens. And it's a 70-200 as I mentioned. It does exhibit focus breathing. So let's take the lens outside with the camera and show you what focus breathing looks like with the Tamron zoom. This is the Tamron 70-200 f2.8 DIVC USD zoom lens focus breathing test. The lens is set to 70 millimeters f8 and it's been focused on a tree in my backyard. I'm going to rack the focus to its minimum focusing distance. This is with minimum focusing distance set at 1.3 meters. Now I will rack through to focusing at infinity. and that's focused at infinity. Let's bring it back to minimum focus distance. Focus is reset, we'll move to 100 millimeters. Racking to minimum focus distance. That's a minimum focus distance. 1.3 meters, 4.3 feet. Racking through to infinity. And racking back to minimum focus distance. Changing focal length to 135 millimeters. Just reading the indicator on the lens zoom ring. Or reset focus. That's indicating about uh, 20 meters. So let's take focus back to minimum focus distance. And racking through to focusing at infinity. Again, going to minimum focus distance. And changing the focal length to 200 millimeters on the zoom ring, resetting focus. Okay, so let's rack focus to minimum focus distance. There we go. And racking back to focusing at infinity. Again, racking through to minimum focus distance. And racking back to infinity. 
So here we are back inside with the Tamron 70-200 f2.8 DIVC lens. And you saw for yourself what the focus breathing is with this lens at 70 millimeters. I think it's fair to say it's a minimal effect as you're changing the distance between you and your subject. As the focal length of the lens, however, increases, the focus breathing became more apparent, more obvious. And at 200 millimeters, I think it's fair to say it's a significant change in effective focal length. When you're focusing up close, the Tamron lens does get much shorter than that rated 200 millimeter focal length. Focusing at infinity, it's much closer to the 200 millimeters. Ultimately though, the decision that you or any photographer has to make is, is the focus breathing so significant that it's not acceptable for the work you're doing? And that's a decision you have to make. What I will share with you is this, I've been shooting with the Tamron lens now for almost two years and in my opinion it is simply an outstanding lens. I've never been in a situation where I've wished for just a few more millimeters. If anything, I've wanted to have use of to be shooting with maybe a 300 f2.8 or a 400 f2.8 or something even longer, particularly if I've been out doing some wildlife shooting. But I'll leave it right there. I'll let you decide. Watch the video again if you'd like. See the focus breathing for yourself and decide if it's acceptable or too much for you. Well, thank you for watching. I'm Bill Ferris and I'll see you next time on 5-Minute Photo.